Hey everyone, I am Peter from Top Think, and today we are going to learn about 10 things poor people do that rich people don't. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Watch too much TV. A few years ago, researchers discovered that watching TV is significantly correlated with low income, so much so that over 34% of families making less than $10,000 a year spend upwards of 5 hours every single day watching TV. But when a family's income increases, the percent of watching more than 5 hours a day decreases, dropping to as low as 1.1% for people making over $150,000 a year. So why is watching TV so closely linked to low income? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but many have to do with the purpose of watching TV and the kind of shows people are choosing to watch, because not all television shows are bad for you. In fact, there are a number of educational and inspiring shows out there, but fewer people, especially in low-income families, use TV as a way to learn instead of as a time waster or form of escapism. So, if you do like to watch an episode or two of your favorite show at night, you definitely don't have to stop cold turkey, but you also should make sure that you aren't just wasting hours and hours every day. By simply adjusting the shows you watch and the amount of time you spend watching them, you can help promote a successful mindset and reduce the negative side effects of TV overconsumption like sluggishness, low self-esteem, and lack of motivation. Number 2. Have an either-or mindset Have you ever heard someone say that being rich is a mindset? One of the most important parts of this wealthy mindset is how you tackle problems. Imagine you go to the grocery store and want to buy bread and eggs, but you can only afford to buy one. If you're using the either-or mindset, you have to choose which one to leave behind, because your goal is to not spend more money than you have. Makes sense, right? Believe it or not, most rich people would handle this problem quite a bit differently, because they aren't satisfied with picking one or the other. They want both. So, instead of limiting their profits by maintaining their budget, they use a both mindset and expand their budget to maintain their profits. This kind of innovative problem solving is what allows rich people to navigate difficult obstacles on their road to success, because they don't let what they have limit what they can do. Number 3. Paid by the hour the vast majority of workers in the world today are paid by the hour, meaning they receive the same payment for every hour of every day no matter how good or bad of a job they're doing. While these types of jobs are much more stable and reliable, they often stifle your success because money is no longer motivating you to go the extra mile. It's no coincidence that most of the highest earning jobs don't pay by the hour, but instead pay according to performance. That way, if you're not at the top of your game, you're going to lose money. This type of job rewards people who work longer, harder, and smarter than everybody else, continuously pushing you to learn and grow as an individual. Performance-based jobs also allow you more control over your own success, instead of waiting years for that promotion you've been asking for. Number 4. Blame Others for Failures Everyone fails at some point in his or her life. Whether it's at work, in school, or at home, failure is unavoidable no matter how much money you make or what kind of car you drive. But there is a dramatic difference in the way rich and poor people understand and handle those failures. Many poor people make a habit of blaming other people when something doesn't go their way. If they didn't get that raise at work, it's because their boss is an idiot or the system is biased. While this is certainly sometimes the case, this mindset makes it impossible to learn from your failures because you're constantly reassuring yourself that you did nothing wrong. Successful people, on the other hand, have no problem admitting when they've made a mistake because they know that learning from these mistakes will allow them to succeed next time. I'm not saying that rich people like to fail because no one actually enjoys failing but nearly every billionaire had to fail hundreds of times before they got to where they are today. So, next time you find yourself angry and disappointed, instead of yelling at who else could be responsible for your failure, 
take a minute to reflect on what you could have done wrong. Then you'll know exactly how to better yourself in the future. Number five, stop trying to learn. To be successful in just about any field, you need to first grasp how little you know. Once they've graduated high school or earned their degree, less successful people tend to think that they know everything. Most won't pick up another book or do any research because they are convinced that they're done growing. But don't make the mistake of believing you've learned everything you need to because you haven't. The most successful people realize this and use it to their advantage. Even when they're at the top of their field, they explore new topics and discover innovative ways to solve problems. So, to be successful, you shouldn't think about school as where you do all of your learning, but instead as preparation for a lifetime of intellectual growth. Number six, focus on saving. When you go to the grocery store and decide what food to buy, what is the first thing you think about? If you're like the majority of people out there, you're probably focused on buying as much food as possible for as little money as possible. We think like this to preserve the amount of money we have because we've made saving money a priority. Rich people, however, are much less concerned with saving a penny here or a dollar there because the amount they'd save is so little in comparison to their income. For poor people, every dollar counts because they don't have the excess money to risk on an investment. But rich people do, which is why they can essentially lose money to make money. By doing this, they end up making way more than shopping the sales at a grocery store ever would. Number seven, eat poorly. No matter what your goals are in life, there is one thing that is absolutely essential on your path to success, physical health. Now, I'm not saying you have to eat only the freshest ingredients or cut all carbs out of your diet but it's crucial that you keep your body and mind healthy by eating the right kinds of food. On average, lower income families eat significantly worse than their wealthier counterparts, consuming more fried foods, less vegetables, and more unhealthy fats. Paired with little to no exercise, this kind of diet can lead to a number of mentally and physically damaging effects like obesity, stress, and poor sleep quality. Affluent people, on the other hand, tend to have much better diets, eating significantly more whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. This healthier diet acts as an important foundation for success by supplying the energy you need to think clearly and perform. Unfortunately, for many low-income families, it's not that easy to suddenly switch to expensive, organic options when fast food is cheaper and more readily available. There are still some cheap, healthy options out there, so even if you're short on cash, you should aim for the healthier alternative whenever possible. Number eight, stop exercising. In addition to eating unhealthier foods, the majority of poor people exercise far less than the average rich person. It's no secret that exercise is a critical part of most successful people's routines, but the majority of poor people opt out of a morning jog or trip to the gym. In fact, a number of studies have looked into this disparity and found that wealthier people are at least 50% more likely to work out a few times a week. But why is there such a big gap in exercise? Well, much like the limitations of healthy eating, Exercise has its own roadblocks for low-income individuals, such as unsafe neighborhoods, expensive gym memberships, and a lack of free time to commit to exercise. But even if these things are standing in your way, it's important to find some way to work physical activity into your routine, even if you have to get a little creative to make it happen. Number nine, not excited about work. In a recent study, researchers found that over 90% of low-income individuals disliked what they did for a living, while nearly 95% of wealthy individuals liked their careers. On top of that, the same study found that people who really loved their jobs accumulated significantly more money than other rich people who only liked their jobs. So what does this tell us? 
While some of their enjoyment probably stems from the luxuries of a bigger paycheck, most rich people got where they are by working on something or at a company that they genuinely liked. So if you're planning on doing a job you hate just to get a better salary, you might want to reconsider. Number 10. Focus on the present. This is another key component to the rich mindset, which many poor people have trouble putting into practice. Instead of focusing on living comfortably today, most wealthy people prioritize their future, making sure to set themselves up for success later in life. This is a big reason why so many wealthy people don't mind working 70 hour weeks because they're treating their present like an investment, which will grow more and more profitable over time. Thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.